Pablo Casals was born on December 29, 1876, to Pilar de Falo de Casals and Carlos Casals in the town of El Vendaro, Catalonia, Spain. When Pablo was a child, he was taught violin, piano, song, and flute by his father, Carlos Casals. By the age of four, Pablo could play violin, piano, and flute. At age six, he performed his first violin solo in public. After seeing a musician playing a broom handle strung with cello strings, Pablo asked his father to make him a cello. His father built him a crude cello using an empty gourd as a sound box. His mother, Pilar de Falo de Casals, enrolled Pablo in Escuela Municipal de Musicia, where he studied cello, theory, and piano. When he was 13, Pablo found a tattered copy of Bach's six cello suites in a secondhand music store. He spent 13 years practicing them before performing them in public. Later, he wrote his own version of the cello suits. In 1893, a Spanish composer named Isaac Alvarez was in a cafe when he heard Pablo playing in a trio. He introduced Pablo to Maria Cristina, the Queen Regent, who asked him to perform in informal concerts at the palace. Pablo was given permission to study at the Conservatorio de Musica y Declamation with Victor Murphy. In 1895, he went to Paris, where he earned a living by playing second cello in the orchestra of the Follos Mangeri. In 1896, Pablo returned to Catalonia and was appointed to Escuela Municipal de Musica in Barcelona. In 1897, he was awarded the Order of Carlos III from the Queen. In 1899, Pablo played at the Crystal Palace in London. Later, he played for Queen Victoria at Osborne House with Ernest Walker. Over the next two years, Pablo toured Spain, the Netherlands, the United States, and South America. On January 15, 1904, he played at the White House for Theodore Roosevelt. At the London Music Festival, Pablo performed Haydn's cello concerto and then joined Fritz Kreisler, the Austrian-born violinist and composer, and playing Brahms double concerto for violin and cello. He married Susan Metcalf in 1914. Pablo made his first recording, a series for Columbia, in 1915. In 1919, he became interested in conducting and organized the orchestra Paul Casals, which led its first concert, concert on October 13, 1920. It stopped in 1936 because of the start of the Spanish Civil War. In 1936, he settled in Prado de Compiègne, France. From 1939 to 1943, he appeared as a cellist in southern France and Switzerland. Pablo strongly supported the Spanish Republican government. He refused to appear in countries that recognized the authoritarian Spanish government. On November 13, 1961, he participated in chamber music performance at the White House at the invitation of President John F. Kennedy. On December 6, 1963, Pablo was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 1950, he resumed his career as a conductor and a cellist at the Paradisa Festival in Conflict. Pablo insisted that all proceeds go to a hospital in Perpignan. In 1955, he married Francesca Vidal de Capaldiva, who died later that year. At age 80, he married 20-year-old 20, 20 Marta Martinez y Martinez, who he had met at the Protest Festival and whose playing he had been very impressed with. They settled in Puerto Rico in 1959. In the 1960s, Pablo gave master classes throughout the world in Zermatt, Berkeley, and Marlboro. He presented his Orianto El Percibe, to the United Nations in 1963. Pablo was awarded the Charles E. Luton Man of Music Award in 1973. He played his song, The Hymn of the United Nations, as special concert on October 24, 1971. On that day, General Yu Fan awarded him with the UN Peace Medal in recognition of his love of peace, justice, and freedom. Pablo then gave his famous I Am a Catalan speech, which talked about his birthplace, Catalonia. Pablo died in Puerto Rico in 1973 at the age of 96. He was awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Pablo Casals was perhaps the greatest cellist of his time. He really accomplished many great things in his lifetime.